you today. I hope you are doing well and ready for a little walk around the historic grounds of the Ivy League University of Princeton. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe and have your notification bells on for more videos coming one right after another for the next few weeks. This is day one of a two-week road trip up north to check out and explore a few sites and places we haven't been to before. Of course, we have been to New Jersey many times before because we are only a few short hours away from the state, but we have never been to Princeton, nor were we even aware until earlier this year that the second largest Hindu temple was no other than in New Jersey. If you're interested, you can check out my previous video that shows a truly incredible, incredible temple. So we are now crossing over the Delaware River on the beautiful Delaware Memorial Bridge that connects Newcastle, Delaware and Pennsville, New Jersey. Our drive started in Maryland and our stops were in Robbinsville and Princeton before heading up to uh, Rhode Island and visit the three islands of the coast of Cape Cod. We have now entered the town of Princeton, which is mostly known for being the home of one of the most prestigious private universities in the U.S., with a rich history dating back to the 1700s. It also has a lot of activities for students and out-of-town visitors, from shopping in Palmer Square to checking out the Princeton Battlefield State Park. You can enjoy some amazing artwork at Princeton University Art Museum. You can catch a show at the McCarter Theater Center, which was built in the 1920s and can hold up to 1,300 people all at once. There are also many historic estates open for visiting tours. There's a Lake Carnegie where you can do boating and fishing. And if you want to do some hiking, you can do it along the Delaware and Raritan Canal Trail. Here we are finally at Princeton University where we are going to just walk around the ground of this famous and very well known prestigious university that has a pretty cool and rich history dating back to 1746, the year it was founded. Back then it started as a college of New Jersey founded in Elizabeth by the Presbyterian Synod to train ministers. If you wonder why Princeton is so popular or what makes it so appealing for higher education, it is because it's one of the world's most uh, famous research universities with connections to a very high number of Nobel uh, laureates, uh, winners of the National Medal of Science, and recipients of the National Humanities Medal. Speaking of research, one of the most notable people to be associated with the university is none other than Albert Einstein, who Although never attended or taught at the university, he was one of the in, um, inaugural members of the Institute of Advanced Studies. He lived about 20 years in Princeton on 112 Mercer Street. And if you stick around, I will show you the street and house, a very cute house on a nice and quiet street. And now we are approaching the Holder Hall Dormitory, which was built in the northwest corner of Princeton campus between 1909 and 1910. The tower was completed in 1911. Hamilton Hall, a smaller dorm, was completed in 1913 and connects the Holder courtyard by an archway through a stone cloister. Many movies have been filmed here, but some of the most popular ones uh, that I can name are A Beautiful Mind, Transformers, to and Oppenheimer. All right, let's talk about a few fun facts that may or may not surprise you. Did you know that the word campus originated in Princeton? Yep, that's right, I didn't know. So in 1774, Princeton 6 president, John Witherspoon, is generally credited with first using the word campus to refer to a college grounds. So the word comes from the Latin word for field, but was first used to describe the large field adjacent to Nassau Hall of the College of New Jersey, now Princeton University, here where we are. Nassau Hall also survived the Civil War's Battle of Princeton and was also briefly the U.S. Capitol in 1783 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Another fact is that the Princeton University Art Museum has one of the most extensive art collections from around the world, making it one of the best university museums in the U.S. 
Last but not least, two Princeton alumni have served as U.S. presidents. That would be James Madison and Woodrow Wilson. The university also had two alumni serve as vice presidents and four on the Supreme Court. Another notable alumni is Charles Conrad, a NASA astronaut who even took the Princeton flag to the moon in 1969. So here we are inside the Princeton University Chapel and it is supposedly the third largest university chapels in the world and it was built in 1928. People of all faiths are welcome for prayer and meditation each day from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. See the dude all the way to the right going up the staircase? That's a shout out to T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot was living in town when they were doing the stained glass. I think he was a really cool guy and he had just written a play or a poem or something called The Staircase. So they're like, oh, let's go into it. Wow. <laughs> that funny? So the boys used to have to go to mandatory chapel until like the mid one thing I wanted to mention about Princeton, and that holds true for most Ivy League universities, is that it is one of the hardest schools to get into where you not only need to have an excellent GPA of at least 3.95 out of 4, but also show some high scores on your ACT or SAT test, as well as show a record of participating in extracurricular activities that clearly show your leadership abilities. And for that strict admission requirement, Princeton holds the highest graduation rates of all universities with a percentage of around 90 7%. When it comes to admissions of students that apply to the school, only a very small percentage end up being accepted. Lastly, of all the Ivy League prestigious schools, Princeton happens to be the most affordable one due to a very generous financial aid program and package they provide for families under a certain income level with a no loan financial aid policy. So over 80% of students that graduate from the school do so debt free. So my take knowing all of that is that Princeton looks for very smart students that not only have the brains but also have a lot of drive, a lot of discipline and ambition in order to uphold the school's excellent academic and graduating reputation. Princeton University architectural design can be described as collegiate Gothic style, which is inspired by English Tudor and Gothic buildings and is characterized by a medieval appearance and castle-like style that was very popular in the U.S. and Canada in the late 19th and early 20th century for college and high school buildings. These types of buildings are typically rectangular in plan and tend to have flat roof lines hidden by a stepped or low defensive wall. Gothic arch entrance are highlighted by central towers and bay windows as well as gothic cast stone tracery they are also adorned with symbols and carvings of gargoyles
All right, we are done with Princeton University's campus walk. We are now going to just walk around the downtown area of Princeton and see what there is here. I have learned that you can do some pretty good shopping here. There are tons of very good eating spots. There are lots of bars and they are also known to have great summer concerts, art exhibits, theater performances. And it's also a very quiet and very clean area of New Jersey that is easy to get to by train, plane or car. If if you are from out of town, out of state, or international. In a little bit, we are going to get some dessert from a French place, and then later, we're gonna have dinner back here. So this is it for today, and thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and get that notification bell going. Don't be shy and let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. See you next time as we explore Rhode Island and three amazing islands off the coast of that state, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, and Block Island. Chicken.